What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new slime video. I am super excited for this one because I'm showing you all of my favorite slimes that I got from Slime Expo New York City and from Slime Bash 2. Thank you all so much. If you came out, thank you. And if you gave me a gift, thank you. I have tons of slime to go through. So there's about to be like three parts to this. Make sure you give this video a big slimy thumbs up if you're really excited. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel to become a unicorn. And here are the unicorn fam shout outs for today. Thank you all so much for being here and for having your post notifications on. I freaking love you for it. If you would like a unicorn fam shout out, all you have to do is comment down below using hashtag unicorn fam. Make sure that you are subscribed and of course turn on that post notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be being notified every single time. I have a ton of really cool slime to show you all for part one, so let's get started, shall we? So kicking the video off, we have Slime Vida here. They actually gave me this cute unicorn pumpkin slime and their concha squishy. I am so excited. I love Andrea and Capri so much. They are amazing. I loved meeting them. This squishy is super so rising and super, super kawaii and cute. I love it so much. The packaging for this pumpkin slime is super cute. I mean, it's a unicorn, obviously, so I dig it. I just really love this slime. It's a cloud slime, and it's a take of their Unicuity slime. They have another slime exactly like this, but it's white. This one is just festive for the fall time, I'm assuming. I really love it. It's a really nice, drizzly cloud slime. It smelled really good like pumpkin, and there's glitters throughout. It's hard to tell on camera, but there were definitely some glitters to make it a little bit sparkly. Oh my gosh, y'all. I was so excited to get this. I had to snatch it super fast before the event even started. So I actually bought this here. This is the bread basket from Kawaii Slime Company. Oh my goodness. It comes with three bread slimes and a bunch of bread squishies, which when you open it right away, it smells so, so good just because the squishies are scented. And I really love the scent of squishies. And it has like a particular scent. I don't know if it's just me, but I really love that scent. I loved all of the squishies, obviously. And it came with this little... Um, instruction sheet not instruction sheet what would you call it it's just something that tells you like what you're supposed to get in the basket and my goodness i loved the slime so much they are totally like bread themed and bread scented this one was really nice and buttery this one right here i believe is a fresh bread dough snow butter slime so it's like a instant snow slash butter slime and i really really love the texture and this one right here i want to say that this one is the hawaiian sweet rolls clay slime so it's almost like a butter but it just has some clay in it and it's really nice i actually really liked this one a lot because the scent it almost had like a cinnamony or like sweet honey type of scent to it And the crunch on this next one, oh my goodness. This one here is the Sweet Toast Sizzle Crunch Slime and just listen. Literally how, I don't even understand it, but it is so good. The crunch is insane. I can't even begin to explain the texture. I wanna say it's kinda like a snow fizz, but don't quote me on that. It's just really, really nice. I definitely recommend this bread basket. It's so good. Oh my gosh, okay, 32 ounce slimes are totally a thing right now, if you didn't know. I am so obsessed with this one here, here from Slimy Poofs. It's so good, it's called Unicorn Farts, and it's so glittery. There's a bunch of stuff in it, and it's just amazing. It has a really nice texture.
Next up, we have these two beautiful slimes from Nasty Gal Slimes. I am so excited that I finally got to meet Emily. I love her so much. I've known about Emily for about a year now, I would say. I actually reviewed her slime a year ago. Isn't that crazy? Anyways, these two slimes here are clear base and they are gorgeous. This one right here is, I would say like a fruit cocktail kind of slime. I'm not too sure what it is exactly, but it is beautiful. It has some charms in there. They're fruit charms and then also some of that honeycomb sponge and this literally needed no activator. It's so thick and gorgeous. I love the color on it. It is amazing. The second slime is a microfloam and listen to the crunch. It's so good. I love microfloam slime so much, especially with a clear base. And this one is beautiful. It's a nice purple color with a bunch of iridescent glitters in it. And it just totally reminds me of like a galaxy or something. I got this gorgeous cloud slime right here from Floam Slimes. This is their Rainbow Sherbert cloud slime and it looks just like Rainbow Sherbert. I love all the colors to make up the rainbow and it's just beautiful and when you mix it together the color is beautiful, it smells great and it's a great cloud slime. Next, we have some slime from Mermaid Slime. Now, she actually gave me a whole box of, like, Halloween-themed slime. However, I picked my favorite, which is this one, Jack, just because there is a lot of slime that I have to review. I wish I could review them all, but I only picked a couple from each person who gave me slime. Um, so, yeah, this one is called Jack. It is a clear slime, and it's super pretty because it has a bunch of glitter in it. And, of course, the Jack Skeleton Charm. It's just amazing. It was a great texture, really holdable, clear slime, and I liked it. This next one right here is called Zebra Popcorn and I highly 10 out of 10 recommend this one. If it's still in her shop, you should definitely snatch it as fast as you can because it's a thicky y'all and it smells so good. There's a great bubble pop from it as well because of all the foam beads and I just really like it. I don't know what else to say. I mean, I like all these slimes. This is my favorite, you know? Next up, we have some slime from Emoji Slimes. This one is Witch's Stew. Again, I got so many slimes. I probably got like a good four to five slimes from Emoji Slimes, and they're all banging. I love them so much. It's just, you know, this video would be like three days long if I reviewed every single slime that I received. I'm so sorry. But again, thank you so much. I really loved Witch's Stew. It had that cauldron charm on top with a bunch of different like sprinkles added on top as well. I love the texture of this the most, though. It feels like clay, like just straight up clay I don't even feel like there's slime in it it's such a great texture but it's kind of confusing I can't describe it to you like it just feels like straight up clay this next one right here is called candy corn and it is so beautifully layered I love it so much it smells just like a candy corn looks like a candy corn and look at those little femo candy corns on there it's candy corn central up in this place I love this cloud slime so much
Scented Slime by Amy is next. It is always a pleasure to see Amy. I really love her. So I got her Milk and Honey Slime and I really, really love it. It's Milk and Honey and it's scented just like Oatmeal Milk and Honey, I believe. It's really, really good. I love this slime a lot because it's super thick. However, it still like retains its stretch. So you can stretch it really far and fast if you wanted to. And the Milk and Honey Charm is just the perfect touch. I love it so much. This next one here is Strawberry Shortcake and it is also another beautifully crafted slime by Scented Slime by Amy. Love it so much. There is a strawberry charm on top that I totally forgot to show you all, but I was really ecstatic because it was just layered so beautifully. I had to just kind of, you know, rip it apart and just kind of mix it on my own terms. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the joy of like a layered cloud slime. I really liked it. It really smelled really good. I could smell the cake portion and I can smell the strawberry. It's, it's so good. The next two slimes are from Slime Yaoi. This was my first time meeting Carmen and she was really nice. We actually traded a couple of slimes and these two are my favorite slimes that I got from the trade. This one is Dr. Pepper. I love the cat puns for the names. I just think it's super cute and it smells just like Dr. Pepper if you didn't guess. It's really nice. It's a butter slime and it's super spreadable and I like it. This next one is a birthday cake scented cloud slime called birthday cake the cat puns man i'm telling you they're so good i really like this cloud slime because it's very dense like it's a super dense cloud slime but there's no snow fallout and it's very drizzly The next two slimes are from King Kong Slimes. Every time I say his name, I have to, like, in my head, I hear the King Kong song, and I love that. It's always great to see Jake. I've met him a couple times, and he's a really cool guy, and I love his slimes. This one here is Pink Paradise. It is a really dense cloud slime as well. No snow fallout. I love the scent of this one. It smells like grapefruit and little grapefruit charm on top. Just gave it that extra little kick, you know, the extra-ness. I don't know. <laughs> This one is called Pineapple Chunks, and I thought it was really cool. First of all, it is pineapple scented. It's a jelly slime with jelly cubes added in. Let that sink in. I mean, the mind of King Kong slimes, am I right? It's so cool. I really like this slime, and squishing up the little jelly cubes are really fun, especially with a jelly slime. I don't know, I just, I thought it was a different experience.
Oh my god, y'all. I was blessed with these two 32-ounce slimes from Hollowberry Slimes. I can't even tell you. This is like one of my favorite slimes ever at the moment. I love it so much. This chocolate ice cream slime. Oh my gosh. Literally had my whole family on a stretcher. Everyone wanted to play with it, but I like kept it in between my legs. I was like, no, nobody can play with this. It is mine. I just really, really love it. The green slime as well is such a good slime. This one, I believe it's like mint chip, but it also kind of has like some fruity smelling notes to it. I don't know really what it is, but it smells really, really good. And it has a great texture. It's super, super thick as well. I mean, look at that. It's trying to come out the container. Like it's good. Next up, we have the bomb slime. My girl Elaine, I love her so much. This one here is called Two Moods, and it was a mood. Let me tell you, I love it so much. The charm is so cute, and I really love the two-tone color. The bottom is like this, like kind of mute purple, I would say, and the top is like a pale pink. I just really like it, and it combines to a cute color. And like I said, that charm is super cute. And of course, you can't mention the bomb slime without mentioning the iconic slimy fries. Oh my god, y'all, this smells so good. Like, one of the most realistic bread scents ever. It, like, you could smell the yeast. It smells so good. I really love it, and the charm is super cute. I just need more of this slime, to be honest. It's like a creamy clay slime. It's amazing. Next up, we have this really cool unicorn slime by Tubular Slimes. I love this so much. The color scheme is just totally like my aesthetic. I love it. It's so pretty. And lastly, we have my girl Trina from Trill Slime. I love her so much. She's like one of my best friends in the slime community and I just love her slimes as well. This is the iconic cucumber melon. I love how pale it is. And when you poke it, it becomes like a darker green. It almost kind of shifts in color. It is beautiful. The lighting in this video is not doing it justice, but I couldn't change it because the lighting was consistent through like all the other videos. But y'all, it's good. Let me tell you, it's thick and glossy and it's scented just like cucumber melon. It's very soothing.
And the last slime here, this one is called Candy Slush, and I want to say it's scented like Blue Raspberry Slushy, which is a really good scent. It smells amazing, and I just love the texture. It totally reminds me of a Sonic Slush with, like, nerds in it, and I freaking love that. It was a snow fizz, a clear base snow fizz, so it had a lot of crunch and texture, and I really liked it. Alrighty y'all, that is pretty much it for this video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. In the comment section down below, let me know which of the slimes were your favorite. And don't forget, this is just part one to this kind of mini series that I'm doing from all the slimes that I got from Slime Bash 2 and from Slime Expo. So definitely expect a part two and maybe even a part three because I got so much slime. I am so excited to just go through all of it and pick my favorite. So thank you all so much if you came and gave me a gift. I am really appreciated of it. I meant to say I am really appreciative of it. I can't speak because I'm editing super late at night so I hashtag goals but yeah thank you all so much for watching I love you very freaking much and I will see you all in the next videos bye I'm still the bad guy I am a Decepticon some call me Nikki but some call me Megatron I'm stopping bags and I don't need a red octagon Careful.